What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Happy Thursday. It's the big thing. And it is another show with me, Roxy and Brett. But as you saw in the title and the thumbnail, this is our first New York show together. That's right. Me by my lonesome, Roxy by her lonesome, and Brett <laughs> by his lonesome. But nonetheless, we were all together having a conversation, and I'm sure Roxy's going to be asking me a lot of questions. So we are going to be talking about that, and then we'll also talk about Brett and how excited he is to come back and work on the studio. He said that as soon as he got off the plane, all he could think about was coming right back here to be working on the studio. That's what he said to me. Maybe at least that's what I thought he said to me. Um, there's other things in the news that we might get to. I don't know. I saw something about the the boys' score plummeting uh, after the first three or four episodes. Roxy's going to talk about TV. She's got a lot of picks like she always does. And we will get into some other news should we want to talk about it. Um, and, but I think it's going to really get into a discussion where we have some stuff coming up. I have a big interview coming up that I can talk about. I think um, I, I'll at least mention it. And then if it turns out that it gets canceled, I'll just cut it right out of the show. That it never even happened because Roxy's going to ask me, <laughs> and I think Roxy will be happy to hear the um, who I have. I have I have two potential really really big guests that I'm excited about, and I think it's going to happen. So, so that and more on the show today. So if you're brand new to the show, subscribe to it. We have a lot of things that are happening right now. I have Acolyte reactions up. I'm going to be finally once I finally catch up to the boys, I'll be doing that. I'm going to do a full on season one review of Dark Matter once I finish it. Should be done with that really soon i have a horizon out of the theater reaction coming soon um and there's just a lot more coming up it's summer movie season there's i'm seeing twisters next week is that true yeah i'm seeing twisters next week so lots of stuff so hit that button all right let's get into it it's myself it's roxy it's brett it's the big thing here we go what's up everybody welcome back it is the big thing. It's myself, Christian Harloff, live from New York with Roxanne Stryer and Brett Sheridan. Look at that guy. I know him. Hey. And it is all three of us together at last. And people are going to be saying, you know, there's a couple of things. We, I, I'm going to tell you guys that God's honest truth. When we started the second week, even, even if every single time we do a show in the studio, and Roxy comes on time. Brett and I are always working on technical things. <laughs> and this time, I'm like, we got it all set up. Brett came in a half an hour early. was getting his shot ready to go. Shot looks wonderful. I mean, look at that shot. Looks great. And then we started to mess with stuff. And the next thing you know, we're 15 minutes late before we get going. Roxy's camera. Roxy has a really good camera. She looks like she's in the dark here, but I like what she's doing. We're going to change that up. Brett's going to fix that up. So you have some stuff right now. The shots are getting better. This is the way. And this is what I was talking about, though. I don't care what anybody says. When you look at this type of show and you look at the footage as opposed to what StreamYard's doing with those three shots, boom, 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 stupid as shit. <laughs> this is much better. So, Brett, let's start with you. How excited are you to come back and have a burrata slice? Oh, that is the gonna be the best part of the trip. It's <laughs> the only part. It's the only thing getting you here right now. Yeah, yeah. And the just but hearing how bad the shot looks um daily. Is <laughs> I mean, that's not best. true. Daily. <laughs> daily. I'm like, we're going to paint. We're going to paint the wall. The white is blowing it out. It was a mistake. We need to fix it. I don't know. The shot looks like shit. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. But at least nobody makes comments about it. <laughs> No, I'll tell you, the last couple of days recording here, um, you know, some people said you got to fix the lighting a little bit and this and that, but, the, but for the most part, people really like what Sadie did with the background. Um, the The camera is, is a wonderful camera. The studio is already working. We're getting some nice, we're getting nice comments here, Brett. Oh, good, good. Yeah, yeah I don't check them, so I just assumed. No, no, there was nice there, comments, was nice off. comments. Um, Roxy sent me a really nice text the other day. She said she already missed me. Oh, to we which, do. To which I and said, I wished you a happy Father's Day, which I didn't do to Brett, and now I'm thinking about that. <laughs> don't worry he was, about it. My kids didn't either. He, did it? Did they not? Um, well, we were we were in Budapest. What does that at mean? The time, um, and uh, the, the my wife 
sent a text to both of them saying, hey, it's, you know, you can wish your father a happy Father's Day. Um, my daughter then sent me a text and my son did not. Then we FaceTimed oh, them and we were like, hey, what's, my wife was tearing into him a little bit. I'm yeah. like, it's all right. I don't give a shit. I'm having, I'm on vacation. I'm loving it. Good online. And my son said, I have a, I, I have a present for you, but uh, it's when you get home. So and what does that mean? He bought home. it. He bought it when you, when you got, before you. No, home. no. He had learned an entire tool song. Oh, on the guitar all right. Was, all and right. played it for me. It was like, and it was, it was really good. He's, he's learning like uh, two to three songs a week and he's, he, he, wow. he's already surpassed the 20 years of noodling with guitars yeah. that I've done. So. That's great though. Okay. Maybe, maybe, cool. yeah, maybe he's forgiven on that one. That's pretty, yeah. I mean, that's a good yeah. way. That's a good way to, uh, it's like, don't worry about it. I'm working on stuff. Don't, don't, you, what, what do you want it? You want a text or you want a full song here? Well, it's been really nice because nightly he'll come in and, and to the living room and play songs for me. It's like kind of a new connection that we've been having. You know, yeah. I, you've, I've often talked about how it's like tough when they become teenagers and stuff, but it's been really nice. He, oh, he comes good. in and he's like, hey, I just learned this new Smashing Pumpkins. Listen to this. That's great. So you find another thing to bond with him over. Yeah. I yeah. love that. Do you think that Brett feels more comfortable on digital? Do you feel that way? I just feel as if this is the most we've heard from Brett in five shows. He's also like, in, he's also in the studio that he built. Yeah, yeah, I feel like Brett. Maybe this is your era, babe. Like time. Hey. This is time to shine. Well, this is I, I'm I'm able to use this at any time I want to make my own show, and I still haven't I still done, done it. it. So. Well, I mean, we do a little bit more here. I mean, look, you you've essentially built out the studio that yeah. you're in the studio that i'm in you're going to work on roxy's shot roxy's shot is going to look significantly better the next time because oh, roxy's yeah. camera is fantastic i want to do what brett has like these are cool acrylic things behind me and actually they have red lights that light them up but it doesn't work with my current lighting setup i love the way that the simplicity of brett's shot like yeah. i want to do something like that wood paneling or yeah. something cool well, that's what he's I'm ready to mix it up well we're yeah. going to switch it up i mean Rox roxy's shot will look Really, really good. Brett, as I said, every kid, Brett is coming back here soon to get this uh, looking more like his shot. We're getting when? close to it. I think it's, what, the first week in July? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. around the 9th. Yeah, so Brett's going to be in here um, July. You know, it's funny, Brett, I went, you remember when we went to, um, so Brett was here with me, and we went to this bagel place when we were here, and, oh, no, I don't think you were with me when I went, but I went to this bagel place, and it was fine. The, the bagel place I wanted to go to, they were on vacation. And I was like, oh, I got to try them. And who, I, was, who was on vacation? The bagel place was on vacation. The one There was two bagel places. There was one bagel place I tried that what I did. You didn't. mean... Like th when the owner goes on vacation, the whole shop the shuts whole, down? The whole shop oh, was on, on vacation. Like it was... They said we're on vacation, and when I when we went to look, and maybe do you remember that, Brett? No, because I think you went. That one was one trip that you went by. Yeah, the whole store yeah, was on you vacation. Brought them back. So they were, they were the, the ones that I got were okay. So I went. To, that's right. I brought them back, and they were fine. I don't even think we finished all of them. The the but the, I went to this place now, the vacation place. It was open, phenomenal, really really good, great coffee, everything. And I was standing. I told. And I this is the difference in New York. I get here I already. I already know who owns the the favorite my favorite pizza place out here. I've already talked to the owner, had a conversation with him. I now am friends with the the, the bagel shop owner, and mm -hmm. it's and. My daughter is absolutely loving it, and we're talking. Oh, wait, wait, say more on that. Oh, the kids are loving it. The kids are absolutely lo loving in here. Loving what did they it. say? So, I mean, well, they love the bagels and the pizza. That's a given. But the the idea, like oh, the shit. the suburban life in general, the suburban life in general, was, like they're just liking walking around, feeling safe. It's a very different world. It's a pl it's a different planet. It's a different planet. The how friendly people are here. That's that's the that's the thing that New Yorkers get a very bad rap that New Yorkers are rude, and it's not true. New Yorkers are very blunt and fast, but you still you, you have a, and and like okay, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? But then you have a conversation with somebody. Every single person that I've had a conversation with has been welcoming, opening the neighbors in this neighborhood. Holy crap! Like they're everybody. Like every single neighbor has come over and said hello and introduced themselves and. It's like I, I I couldn't tell you a damn thing about my neighbor in Los Angeles, the one across the street. No, nothing about them. I know more about my neighbor that I lived, uh, you know, uh, across the street from over the past week than I know about anything about four or five of my neighbors in Los Angeles that I lived there for five years. Why do you think? It's just a very different vibe. It's a very different vibe. 
uh, and it's like and, and it's like community and all this stuff too. It's 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 pretty it's pretty fantastic. And and oh, I told this story on with Mike and Steph on yesterday's show. But um, I'm, I'm walking around with the dog, and and Roxy, you you lived on the East Coast, so I'm sure you remember. You remember fireflies? Yeah, of course. I haven't seen fireflies in 30 years. You yeah, know? yeah, I've, I've never seen one out here. I was no, they're not out there. But I was I was walking the dog, and I was like. I'm like, what was that? I go, holy shit, it's a fucking firefly. <laughs> and it was a, it was a whole bunch of them. And Did then the kids see? No, I I want to oh. go back and get them. I'm, hopefully they're out tonight because I want to take the kids to see it. But I went and then I was walking to this really big grassy field, which is five seconds away from where I saw the fireflies. And the fireflies are, are all over this field. And I swear to you, there's like 11 or 12, Brett will know this because we saw one of them. There's like 12 bunnies. <laughs> and the bunnies were on this grass field and they all start running next to a bunch of birds who are hopping next to them like a f Disney film. They're not chasing the birds. They're running. See you later, Brett. They're running with the birds. It was, it, it was insane. So it's been, uh, it's been, it's I have the same, whenever I go home, it's just like that. I mean, in my yard, there are bunnies, there are turkeys. Yeah. It's like, Did we're learning. We're learning. Yeah, I mean, Christian, you full blown, like you said at the top, you're in the suburbs. I know. It's a different life. Different like, world. It's a different it's world. So di anytime I go home and I like go on walks and like I'll walk to the grocery store, to the convenience store. Yeah. I'll say I, I know all of my neighbors at home. Like, you know, it's just so different. LA is not made for that. No, it's not. And it's like, and I, I was wondering after the first week if I was going to miss LA and I, I just don't. <laughs> I just don't. I, you're here a long time and you got out of it what you yeah. need apparently you know yeah. yeah i'm going so i'm going into the city tomorrow um i wasn't i was only supposed to I'm, well i have the show with dan merle on friday in the city that was planned for a bit and i was where it's um uh don't make me look it up but it's no, it, the well, link, i wanted you to plug it can they get tickets yeah links in the description of where okay. in the city so you guys and there's well there's only like 15 seats left um, oh. but there are, but there are seats left and we, I'm, I was always planning on going in to the city on, on Friday to go and, and I'm going to go hang out with Dan for a little bit and then we're going to do the show. So that was a plan. Then I found out that I'm getting, um, a really good guest on the show. And so that guest is in the new Kevin Costner horizon film. So Kevin Costner. I, I not Kevin Costner, but oh. but I was but then they said, hey, can you come see the movie? And they gave me the they gave me the Burbank screening. I said I can't see it there. So <laughs> they I said, can, do you have a New York screening? They said we do. We have one. When's the Burbank one? The Burbank one. I have to let you know. But it's a okay. but um it is a uh, but it's in the city, and I have to hop on the train and go into the city to see it, and. I'm really, I'm actually very excited to see the movie. I've been wanting, I wanted to see the movie in general, but now, so Roxy, you're a Stranger Things fan? Yeah. I'm getting Vecna, Jamie Campbell Bauer. Nice. You don't know though, and you might cut it out of this? Yeah. Or for sure. Uh, I'm about, I'm about 95% sure that I'm getting him. Cool. So, very cool. Yeah, that's a good one. And then the other one that's really great that we're working on for July that, I'm gonna. I, I almost don't want to say it because I don't want to jinx it, but I also want to say it because I'm excited about it. And Brett will love this so much. You'll love this too because you guys are both big Saturday Night Live fans. Dan Aykroyd. Oh, that's wild. That's and he's a big UFO guy. Nice. So that's the one. I'm really, really both both of them very excited for both of them. But that one, when I heard that, I was getting that, and then so there's other there's other. There's other things in the works, but it's like I think that we're going to start getting a lot more interviews on this channel. And I think that on like what I did on Monday, I did the show with Roca. Tuesday I did a live like an impromptu live stream. Wednesday I did the show with Mike and Steph. Thursday will be our show, and then Friday is obviously Capes and Cows with other things kind of sprinkled in there. But um, but yeah, so it's uh, it's so that's what you plan on sticking to. Uh, well, I don't know what to do. The Tuesday will probably be the you know the, there's two things that I'm probably going to do with Tuesday. Now, you know, if I get, I don't know how often I'm going to get interviews, but like I'll put, if I do get Jamie, I'm going to put him on the Tuesday show and that will be Tuesday's show. If I get Dan Aykroyd, it'll be on a Tuesday show. Whoever I get guest wise will be on the Tuesday show. When I don't have um, a guest, I'll probably do an in-studio 
live show and because I can't I've actually had a pitch for a guest to come in studio next week and we're not we're not ready for that yet because that's what Brett's coming in here for. We should talk that's so people know. Brett, what what exactly when you come in in uh, in July are you, are you doing here besides fixing my shot that we all know that you're going to do? Um well, oh yeah, we're we're going to paint the walls a gray which is better for um accepting the lighting. Um I'm going to hang up some curtains probably to uh for the Sarah show. Yeah, Matt maybe, Sarah, yeah. To, to distinguish the two of them. You know, just lighting stuff like that. You know, it. Uh, we got all this shit. We got all the. We got the couch. We got everything that's coming oh, into the yeah, other room. Oh yeah, yeah. We got to set up. Have to be gray. Well, gray. It, it won't be gray. The gray. I. I. You know, did some research, and that that will take the color lights better um, than the white. The white just kind of bleeds it out. The gray. So it's not, you, it won't, it'll still be, you'll see like the blues and stuff like yeah. on there. And you, it, it's, it's just a thing that I, I, I didn't really know until I tried out the, the white. <laughs> and then, so we just got to paint it. Because or I like, we could just paint it blue. Like so I like, the old I, one. I like what yeah. your, I like what yours is doing. Like, That's what I'm saying. Brown. That's looking cool. It's, it's, I, I, I you know, I mean, truth told, you know, we, we, we just these this is expensive <laughs> to yeah. put these up they're they're you know they are wood and uh uh yeah we just didn't have the budget yeah well, what, we instead of white these, brick what about brick brick that would look so sick behind christian yeah i don't know i i want to try to salvage these because they were a pain in the ass to yeah <laughs> but, I mean, you should you know, say there's, well there's lots of options this is why this is just the story because i know brett so well and he's just such a good guy like here's <laughs> So my wife comes in here in the day and she's ready to, because she went through a lot to get all this stuff made. And she called a friend of hers who, who helped her with the, with the design of, and, and getting all the, the boards made and all that. And we got them shipped to the house and we did that. And then she walks in here and she's like, oh my gosh, she's like, I don't think I'm going to be able to hang them on these things. She's like, cause they, like, they kind of point out. She's like, I don't know. She's like, maybe we have to take them down. And I was like, take them down. I'm like, Brett's head's going to pop off his shoulders and land on, you know, in, in Tool's lap. And she's, and she's like, we might have to take them down. So I called Brett because I, I wasn't sure if he was back yet, but I left him a message. And so the first thing he gets when he's off the plane is, hey, we're going to rip the, 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 the four hours you, or six hours you spent putting these things up. They're probably going to be in shambles by the time you get back here. And then he's like, you didn't tear them down, did you? And I was like, no, we kept them up. You, you, I don't even know if you could. They're like the industrial glue that you have to use to put those up is is pretty crazy. Yeah, we wouldn't need like a crowbar or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I it, you know it's a concept that uh, I I again uh, you know just to I, I went I was going off of a vertical FaceTime video over like Zabruder filming it. Um, you know, like going, okay, how does it, I did, I had measurements of the room and I didn't know, I was like, I think this might work and, and it didn't and we'll, we'll fix it. We'll fix yeah, it. Yeah, we will. Part yeah. of me thinks that you are messing with me a little bit though, Christian, with what you did. What do you mean? You don't know what you did? No, what did I do? Behind you, there's nothing that stands out to you as something that would be weird for me. Oh, Braveheart? Of course. Yeah, I know, but it's Braveheart. It's not, I don't look at it as him. It's Braveheart. I thought about that today when I, um, oh. Yeah, he's not I'm just like, did you do it to fuck with me? No, you know, he's the one person that I like. But you know, really. that's one of, but that's one of my favorite movies. It's not. It's not. It's not. If it was, if it was him screaming into a phone, then I would. Then I'd probably be like, okay. Or if, you're or, not staring at it though, and I am. Well, I mean, you can't. If, to be fair, you can't see it. You can see it, but they. But in this shot here, you can't see it. But it's it's Braveheart. Does that make it better or worse? I don't know. I don't know. But you but look at all the other wonderful stuff up Who's there. Who's directly yeah. behind you? Which but one with the see. with the microphone that you can't, you can't see, see behind you? Like there's one you're blocking completely. Oh, oh, uh, this this Move one. Your head. Oh, oh, Star Wars. Yeah, and right, people, we'll, we'll and people out, uh, Mel with that. Yeah, well, I I might we might we might because people were very upset that you can't see Vader and uh, and Luke. That was the one thing that I kept getting. People kept saying, "How come you can't see Vader and Luke?" Because I, I was really really into Mel Gibson. Stuff. <laughs> That's it. Now it's Braveheart. Brave friends, yeah. William Wallace. Yeah. I don't see a Kevin Spacey image on there. It's different. 
And and by the way, and and if there was a usual suspects up there, this is the this is the conversation we have all the time about separating the art, the you know, the art from the artist. And I was and I I will never apologize for loving Braveheart. It's one of my favorite it's not movies. That. I it's quote just, it. There's a lot of movies. I don't think I need to be staring at Gibson's face. <laughs> I know, but I, I and it's and it's so funny you said that because I just had I just had, was talking to um uh, uh, this guy who works at this building and he was saying essentially saying he's like oh I love that movie. He's like, but man, I had some I had a conversation with some friends the other day and they were just going off on 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 Gibson and it was like yeah, it's like you see, this this movie this movie is my it's my it's just such a great movie. I, I thought Rocks was just going to say because there's like very little female representation on the wall. <laughs> We've got uh, can't that win. doesn't even remotely can't, sound can't like Winslet it. and that's it. Yeah, no, you there's Kate Winslet. You know what I did see, though? Um, I was on um, Hinge the other day. Yeah. And one of the prompts, you guys know people pick their own prompts and then oh, they sure. fill in the blanks. Sure. And it was like, um, don't... Uh, only match with me if or something like that was the prompt and he wrote you don't believe in feminism yeah and i thought that was such a funny thing like of all the prompts to pick you can talk about like the best qualities of you or whatever and like what do you mean don't believe in feminism like right. you don't believe it exists or like right what, what don't you believe what, i don't practice it no, 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 no. <laughs> not a practicing you don't believe in yeah. feminism i don't think that that's a real thing I, th I think I think uh, yeah. Like that sounds like a flat earther, right. right? Like I don't believe in it. And that's it's like, not real. That's that's a made, yeah. It's made up on Netflix. <laughs> what um, exists? <laughs> it's true. Uh, anyway, there's a lot. There's a lot more we can talk about because I still don't know. Speaking of Hinge and all that stuff, I see what the hell Roxy's doing as far as Daytown USA and what's going on with the neighbor. Um, but before but we, Christian, you yep. just moved across the entire country. You have so questions. You have I questions. Have, yeah. I know you have questions. All right. Well, when we get back. Because I want to tell you guys, there's a lot of energy going around in this room, and that's all because we're all on AG1. That's right. We'll all take an AG1, and you should do AG1. You should manage it right afterwards or what you're spending. Oh, I spent this on AG1, and it was worth it. And what else are you spending on? Well, Rocket Money can help you out with that. So I'll tell you about AG1 and Rocket Money. Here you go. I've told you about Rocket Money, guys. And the reason why for Rocket Money was so important is that I, I, for a long time, I used to do these things where I'd be on my phone and I'd start searching for these apps. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll sign up. Oh, for free? Yeah, it's free for now. But then it's going to be $20, $30 a month and you forgot that you're even paying it. And I was like, oh, well, this Rocket Money lets you know about what subscriptions that you have that you're not paying attention to it can cancel subscriptions for you it really is amazing and it just it just cuts so much time out of my schedule and I, I i love it because you don't even know how much you're paying in subscriptions and you're probably paying way more than you think because over 74 percent of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about and i definitely did that i can tell you that right now like there was a couple of, i'm telling you some of these apps i tried some of these apps and i'm like oh shoot i forgot all about it you think you spend around 62 per month on subscriptions something like that but it's close to about 300 it goes about 300 a month because Rocket Money is also, it's a personal finance app and it finds, it cancels your unwanted subscriptions. It monitors all of your spending and it helps lower your bills so you can grow your savings because I got full control over my subscriptions. I have a clear view of my expenses. It helped tremendously on this move um, and you don't want to waste money. So it's got over 5 million users and they saved they say from what they said the average people i think overall everyone that's using it 500 million in cancel subscriptions wow it's yeah it saves about 740 dollars a year it's great so stop wasting money on things that you don't use you just cancel your unwanted subscriptions you go to rocketmoney.com slash thing rocketmoney.com slash thing very easy rocketmoney.com and i gotta tell you about ag1 you guys know ag1 i mean if you've been listening to this show long enough you know that I love AG1 and people keep asking me, they notice. John even said when I started, is I look, new look, yeah. 20 pounds I lost. One of those reasons, AG1 became part of my routine. Because at for, you know, for a long time, I wasn't paying attention to what was going on in my body. It just wasn't. I, for me, I read labels, I verify that everything is up to the quality I need. And that is why I've stayed with AG1 for as long as I have. It is a research backed uh, foundational nutrition supplement. And it delivers daily nu nutrients, gut health support, and it's backed by multiple research studies so you can trust what you're putting into your body. Because I I do, I like coffee. I normally, I used to drink so much coffee to keep up, but I don't need it anymore, not as much. 
because after drinking AG1, I have realized that I have all this energy and I need less coffee to power my day. It turns out I'm not alone. Because in a research study, 91% of people noticed they needed less coffee after 60 days of drinking AG1. 97% of people in a research study felt more energy after 30 days of drinking AG1. That's crazy. 91% of participants noticed that they need less coffee after 60 days of drinking AG1. That's me. <laughs> energy is a majorly important reason why it comes to I, I need so much energy for parenting. I can tell you that right now. AG1 contains ingredients, sustain energy, so you can be the best version of yourself within each day. And it really has worked for me and it's helped me on the plane, everything. It's easy, it's satisfying to start your journey with AG1. But if you go to AG1 and you, you can get a free one year supply of vitamin D3, K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase, you gotta go to drinkag1.com slash big thing. Drinkag1.com slash big thing. It's the one product I trust to support my whole body health. It is. It's AG1. I thank you to our friends over at AG1, Rocket Money. As I say, always make sure that you get something for yourself when you're helping out the show. I got something uh, the other day uh, that it came to numbers, and I talked about this. We have a very good conversion rate with our audience, and... That means that you guys are clicking on the links, you guys are checking out the stuff, you're getting things for yourself, and that helps the show. Because you listen to me when I say, hey, it helps. So, And people are always telling me, hey, I signed up today. Sign up to AG1, sign up to Rocket Money, and you'll, well, you thank me for it, because it's fantastic. But, all right. Roxy, you want to talk about yourself, or you want to ask questions? No. no. Oh. What? Do I want to talk about myself or do I want to ask questions? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you know me at this point. I want to ask questions. All right, go ahead. Um, okay, so how did it all happen? How did you go from here to there or from L.A. to there? You guys all took one flight together? Oh, like yeah. Yeah, so we went, We well, Thursday, you came in and you shot our show, which is, by the way, went, went very well. People loved our last show together. I loved Brett, it, too. Brett, I, wa yeah. I watched it. Did you? Why did you watch it back? Yeah, because... I was sad. <laughs> you got teary? Yeah, I was sad, and yeah. I wanted to watch it back, and people's comments were so they were nice. kind. Um, but then somebody said that I threw Brett under the bus, and they weren't How? wrong. What do you so. mean? Well, oh, by that. saying you're number two? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brett, I called myself as number two, and people were like, wow, that's fucked to Brett. And I was like, it is, <laughs> it is kind of, but like, and then some people were, like, most of the comments were so nice, and some people were like, wow, Roxy is so needy, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, right. It's not, it's not like yeah. something, it, it's, it's not you saying, no, I'm not. It's like, yeah, so what? Hello, have right. you been watching me? Right. <laughs> Need reassurance. Thank right. you. It's like someone saying uh, Christian likes pizza. I mean, come on. Right. Yeah. But yeah, the, the show is awesome. But I haven't, when we got into the, I texted you for Father's Day. You, you said did. that the move was going okay. I said I missed you. Um, and then when we got into this stream today, I said, how's it going? And you said, we'll talk about it on air. Right. So I literally don't even know, don't know nothing. about the actual move. No, I know nothing. nothing. So, well, so we had our show and we shot that on a Wednesday, I think it was, we did. And then you literally opened the show saying that you think that you should air on Friday. So it's the last show on, for, because you should have the last show. And I said, I thought about it, but then push came to shove and I wound up putting the, the Capes show on Friday because I wanted to get our show up sooner than later. And it did. And it was the right decision because a lot of people enjoyed it. And then Winston and Coy came in on Thursday and to Brett's glee, they helped break down the studio completely at the end. They, <laughs> they, 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 um, they carry, we carried that big ass desk, which we loved. And Ellis came over too. Ellis came over at the end and brought over two slices of pizza, by the way. And, and then we... Um, we moved the stuff out of there. I gave Koi a bunch of lights, gave Winston some stuff. Um, I had an Andrew Guy had come by at one point, not that day, but just in general. Uh, Smets came by. Uh, I saw Frank Janish. I saw Cam Rice. I saw Wendy. I saw a bunch of people on the way out. And then after that was, I mean, we we shot Capes and Cows. We had a full working studio. And within the hour after it was done, it was all broken down. just an empty garage that I posted on the uh, on Instagram. Is the table still on the street? No, somebody took it. Yeah, somebody took that quick. Like we we left we left a warehouse full of shit on the <laughs> on the lawn, uh, and it was and I couldn't believe how much stuff was out there. And my my wife called her dad yesterday, and he's there's there's like three things left. 
it, it, everything. It'd be, that's the other thing. If I left any of that stuff in my place now, it would be there for 12 years. <laughs> it was gone in a matter of a day and a half. Yeah. Um, it's gone because this is a busy street. People zipping by. And, and I, the amount of people, even when I was there, that I saw stopping. And there was one woman who, it was hilarious. We were looking at her from the window. She got out of the car. And there was this big, huge dresser. That we had, that we did, that we don't need, we didn't need anymore. And the thing was huge, and she had like this little. Feet. I could have definitely used a dresser. You should. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't. Hey, so there she she had this little Fiat. <laughs> so she gets out of the car and she goes like this. She looks at the dresser. She looks at the Fiat. She looks at the dresser. Like it ain't happening. Call your friends. <laughs> Call somebody. Do something because it ain't working. But no matter uh, you know anyway. So that so people pick that stuff off the street. But we left. Friday morning, our flight was supposed to be at 11 a.m., and we got there. We got there in time, and we actually are right as we were getting there because I was worried that we were going to be a little late with it because we had the dog with us. So we had him in the in the carrier. So we're wondering. Have you ever flown with him? Not with him before. Um, and so I was wondering, I'm like, okay, how's this going to happen? So we then got delayed for about an hour. Um, yeah, and we went to Delta Lounge, which is. You Brett, you know how much I love oh. the Delta Lounge. How'd yeah. you do that? I have, I have, yeah. Well, no, I've got, I've got, I've got Sky Miles, so it's like you know, you get for for my account, I, I you get access to the, to the Delta Lounge, but like it, yeah. it is the best. And in, we were there for about, I don't know, hour, hour and a half. We get on the plane, and we have we do we do the flight, and then right as we get to, we're about forty five minutes out, and then they do they die hard to us. And they just keep us in the middle of they're like, oh, we gotta because of the weather, we gotta float around in the sky for another 45 minutes. Like, ugh. So we finally land, and then it was because of the weather, we were pushed back a little bit more. Um, and then we wound up instead of getting in at like eight when we we're supposed to, we wound up getting in at like 10 30, 10 40. But we we did how are your girls doing? They're okay. My wife was starting to run down a little bit more. I'm I'm self-admittedly the worst in the airports. When, oh, really? When it comes to I mean, I, with Brett, was I bad with you? No, not bad. I but I can. I, I I'm not saying bad, but I I could tell you are nervous. I'm. I want to you, get you, there. You, yeah, I, and he's he's yeah. very. He's like so. We, okay, we got the bag. We got the bags. The bags are in. The, the you know, like he kind of talks himself through every step of the way. Yeah, and you know, it's we've got to. Okay, if we go to Delta Lounge, we have enough time. If we yeah. leave by this, it's the only time I get like that. And self admitted. Yeah. I'm like when and I am and I said to my wife, I said I I am the worst in the airport. So she's like, she's like we reverse roles when it comes to the airport, and I she's she's the one that's relaxed, and like okay, we'll get there. And I'm like, no, we got to be there. We got to do. That. I'm the worst at the airports. <laughs> the worst. Weird. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know what it is, but um, and then so we get off the plane. And I'm like, all right, we got to get to the freaking because I want to make sure my I have all my luggage. So I get all the luggage, and finally we we did what we did. We got the that same pizza place though that we got when we if, that we got here, Brett. Mm -hmm. On yeah, um. And we just, yeah, we just wound up getting in you know, at like 1030, sleeping on air mattresses until the, you know, the truck gets here and, and that's it. And that when was, did the truck get there? In a day and a half from now. <laughs> oh, you're still on the air mattress? Still waiting. Yeah. Still waiting. Are you on the floor? No, because we just, we finally, we got our couch delivered. So, but I have air mattress, we have air mattresses and, and, and a couch. So that's good. So so who have the air mattresses held up? Like I feel yeah. like you guys have been sleeping on the floor full. No, time. no, no, no floor. We, the air mattresses are good. It's the same. Like it's, we got some, we got some good ones. Go ahead, Brett. Oh some. no, I was I was waving, saying I'm doing a show. Someone popped into the. Oh, tell them. And something. then you um, said that the the neighbors all came through. Yeah, they're all just. I mean, a lot of. Well, we met some of them when we were there in May, and then yeah. and then they came back around. There's there's one guy who. I mean, there's they're all fantastic, but there's one guy who's just amazing. He's cut off sleeves, ponytail, um, and about as New York, as New York as you get, the nicest guy in the world. And he's just like, hey, how's it going? What's going on? What do you need? You want some sugar? It's like, it's like, he's the best. Any kids in the neighborhood or not? Yeah, yeah, there's some kids in the neighborhood. It's very family oriented. It's, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible. Damn. Yeah, so. Anything that you're not loving so far? Um, the, the lighting on the shot. <laughs> Um, no, it's at right now. It's, it's just not having my stuff, not having all my stuff. That's, that's, yeah, that's gotta be, I didn't realize you guys still yeah. didn't have your, and yeah, not having my stuff. Um, I don't know if I love this table. You can't see it yet. Cause we don't have a wide shot, but 
that's something we'll probably have to fix too. But there's a little, little I mean, the, the, the studio will, will, I mean, the fact that, that, I mean, as much as we were breaking chops, the fact that Brett got it looking like this in the course of four or five days, Brett. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like five days. And, and so that's, uh, that was impressive. That was impressive. There's some stuff we, we use here that we can, uh, maybe mess with the table. That's like a you. It's, you put it on there. It takes glare away. Okay. And we can do different colors. I stuff. think it's less about the glare, though. I think it's more about you know. It's maybe like you said it yourself too. It's the length, right? Who knows? Who knows? Who deal with it. You're over um, I had a fun. I have a fun fact for you about sure. uh, Budapest. It yes. rivals New York in pizza places. Shut, I didn't. Oh, you're not not as far as quality. Not quality. I'm not saying I don't know because I didn't. I didn't want to eat pizza. I wanted to have like yeah. local yeah. cuisine. So, but I mean. It's legit pizza place really? after pizza place and burger places. Like it, it was hard for us to find Hungarian food while we were there Cause because it's just it, tourists it, USA. It's just so much. Yeah, it's just I think. And then you think about it, where you're like, well, yeah, I guess you don't. If you live there, you cook that at home. You don't really want to go out to eat the food you do cook. And American food is just, I don't know. We don't have like a thing that's truly a, you would call american other than i guess pizza and, and burgers really like what's right. what's american food yeah burgers i mean they burgers, yeah really burgers really but yeah but burgers. how but how was budapest all, all together Wings. yeah it was it was it was absolutely lovely you loved and, it you know uh i i want to go back and redo it though you ever go on a vacation you're like oh we should have done this we should have done that yeah but, you know it's 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 one of those things where we built it up to be difficult to go around my first my wife's first time ever overseas oh really you know so she was a little nervous and you know it was it was and she was nervous about leaving the kids and i'm like oh, oh has she never been time. out of the country before no oh no, wow she, just i mean you know the furthest she's Christian, been didn't you say you'd never been out of the country yeah but i i, I well t twice but they're it's, both don't really i mean i guess they, they count but not not to europe i've never been where have you been out of the country Bahamas mm. and uh and Mexico. Okay, okay. Those are the two places. So um but I have not gotcha. yeah, I haven't I haven't um been when we were I think when that conversation came up, we were talking about like Scotland and and England and Italy in particular. When you were doing the lighting, I asked Brett, how was your trip? And it didn't seem to me like Brett, like I was expecting you to come back and be like, it was amazing. He's probably jet lagged. He's probably jet lagged. Yeah. yeah, I'm 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 a little jet lagged and I was, you know, it's my brain isn't firing on all cylinders. Yeah, you right can now. tell. <laughs> 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 I'm like trying to I, I people were asking me here in the office they're like how was it? And I was like what'd you do? I'm like well, so I went to the Yeah. First night we had first first food we ate there was Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue. <laughs> yeah, you know, just you know, some of the local flair. <laughs> <laughs> How was the concert though? The concert was amazing. Yeah, uh, and uh, I mean, but I I will see it again. It's I'm getting old. Like third row when you're wow. eighteen, pretty awesome. Yeah. When you're fifty, yikes. Why is it just it's craziness? Loud. Oh, you loud. Too in my ears. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so it's for how long you can you can but do this. You know what's great? Um, they don't uh, they don't just gouge you with prices there. A, a beer was thirty bucks at the concert. Three bucks? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Great. It was like cheaper than a, a beer at a bar in Los yeah. Angeles or something. But like usually it's like twenty bucks for a giant one. Yeah. That's how they make their money at the at these places. Yeah, yeah like I, they I mean, they don't do it there, and not a single ounce of 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 smoke in the entire arena yeah. you know everybody smokes there pot don't get me wrong but no 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 pot they have very strict uh, drug really? laws uh -huh. and and like not one person lit up for this entire like and i hmm. haven't been to a concert my whole life where somebody hasn't lit, right. lit up a joint you so know? did you like that or you were bummed by that um yeah i mean i would have loved a little puff puff pass but, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah i don't know yeah. if, you know no, I, I I was fine. I was fine with no cigarettes being in the venue right. because, like I said, everybody smokes and outdoor patios. There was a few times where it's like, oh, let's go have a nice little romantic dinner in this yeah. outdoor patio, and then you know people are walking by with a stogie hanging out, and you know just like 
always smoking. The funniest story is the last night we were there, we go to a market to get some water and some snacks before we leave. And this guy says something to me in Hungarian while he's smoking. And I'm like, oh, no, it's cool. I, I don't mind the smoke as we're starting to go in. And this lady goes, no, he's saying we can't go in because he, he's on a smoke break. Oh. And then more people showed up and he and his buddy just were casually smoking and having a conversation and and we couldn't go into the establishment. Until That's he was wild. There. Wow. <laughs> we're That's just, crazy. When I, I, I we'll go somewhere else. One of the most recent concerts I was at was a um, Diana Ross concert and I was smoking and somebody narked on me. It was so weird. The person next to me, I was smoking, but like, I'm ve a very respectful smoker. It's an outdoor venue. It was at the oh. bowl. Yeah, maybe it's your um, neighbor. I took a puff and then she got up. I watched her go get security. She didn't say anything to me. Go get security. Security comes over to me. At this point, I'm I had taken two puffs and was yeah. done. And they were like, hey. Um, and you could tell they didn't want to do it. They were like, sorry, <laughs> you can't smoke here. <laughs> And I look at her. She's now standing right back to me. And I was like, seriously? And she was like, so weird. Yeah. Yes. I, I, that is so you. And I love you for that. And that's some, of course you're going to say something. And you should. It's like so weird. Like if you have that big of an issue, turn to me and be like, hey, sorry. Is there any way you could not smoke here? Yeah. Yeah. Which, we're out an outdoor venue. And I later like it's so bizarre. But like I watched you go down, go over to security. Yeah. I have I have a story. Around. I have a story funny about that. You know, we, we, we this is actually hilarious. We I don't I haven't even told Brett this yet. We we shipped our car um and we were waiting for the car. And so when we were when they picked the car up, the guy was like, Yeah, yeah, we're, we we picked it up on Thursday. And he's like, I'll be there by Saturday. I'm like, you gonna be there by Saturday? He's like, yeah. He's like, we just, we put it on the truck and we do his, my partner and I, we take turns and we'll, we'll be there by Saturday. I'm like, wow, that's, that's impressive. So I call him on, because I was like, now I don't rent, rent a car. So I call him on Saturday. I'm like, hey, I just wanted to, you know, see how, if, if you're going to be close. So if I'm, I'm going to get a car or not, he's like, yeah, I think miscalculated. Probably Monday or Tuesday. Right. It's like, okay, perfect. All right. So I go and I, I rent the car. So my wife calls me and says, on Tuesday, right? Yes, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. No, it was, it was I think it was Monday, actually. It was Monday when he, when he shows up. He's like, oh, the car is going to be here on Monday. It's like, okay, great. So I'm here at the studio, and my wife goes, you're not going to believe what just happened here. Like, she was, she was talking to, she was talking to somebody, and the guy shows up, and hands her the keys and and she wasn't didn't really think of it now these people are supposed to put your car on the actual like the thing this guy i don't know we had about a full tank of gas in the car and this guy ferris bueller's the car from wherever the <laughs> hell he took it from and they drives because he said because of where we lived it was harder to get the the big thing in there so he drove, he's like it took three quarters of, 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 of gas to get it from there and then he goes i didn't drive it that far my wife's like there are Burger King wrappers and bags <laughs> in the car. And she goes, those aren't mine. Those, those are yours. And he's, she's like, my family does not eat Burger King. <laughs> and he's like, nah, it's your Burger King. And she started, and my wife is like, so my wife starts calling places. And I go, let it go. Just did let it, did just your let it cargo, go. You're the, you, you hit under the seats? <laughs> yeah, the cargo that we hit under the seats, he knew. I mean, I, I said, we, we put a whole bunch of shit in the car to ship it. And like and uh, and the guy, when he was looking through, I was like, you think we're the first people to come up with the plan to put stuff in the car? Yeah. I mean, this guy's seen it all. He's probably had, like, that's my uncle. What's he doing in there? Um, but, yeah, and then it, it's, my wife was calling corporate, and, his, and, and the corporate's like, well, he says he didn't do it. She's like, it's like, well, yeah, but I'm telling you, he did. I have pictures of the garbage, and he's like, no, I said no. Check the mileage on your car. Yeah, we that was the problem. We didn't check it beforehand, uh -huh. and yeah, I know. So there's nothing there. And then, and then my wife goes, should I call the cops? I go, no, don't call the cops. I'm like, what are you talking about? Calling the cops? What are the cops gonna do? What I was the like, hell are the cops gonna? What are the cops gonna do? Arrest him for his Burger King? It's, it's like, what are you gonna do? She's like, she's like maybe they, my wife was going into full on. Like I don't know what mode she's, she's jet lags like Brett. She's she's like maybe she's like there's got to be footage of him driving the car somewhere. <laughs> I'm like what is this the fugitive? I'm like he didn't run over any bodies. He ate Burger King in the car. They're not gonna check surveillance footage for 
for a guy eating a freaking Whopper in the middle of the, the 95. <laughs> it's like, there he is. He's got pickles on his mouth. <laughs> Let's pull him That's over. Amazing. Arrest like, that man. Arrest him for what? Eating too much uh, pickles. But I am curious, like, what did they do with your car? I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe they just said, hey, well, you know, we, we take the maybe they wanted to take the freaking thing to the, the big pickup thing in another direction. He's like, you know, I'm I'm far enough out. I'll just take the car um, to them and I'll stop off and get myself some snacks. <laughs> you know, so it, it, why not throw it out? It's so weird. It's so yeah, stupid. Weird. So stupid. You should have just thrown it out and nobody would have known the difference. All, the only thing would be like, oh, I thought we had more gas than this. But like, what are you doing? It's like, is so it, bizarre. Because I mean, I guess his plan worked. He's like, yeah, if they say anything, I'll just say it's theirs. It worked. Yeah. So anyway, whatever. Um, we got more to talk about. Roxy's got TV stuff that we're going to get into. And if you if you tuned in here for pulp for pulp fiction, then you're definitely not going to get it. If you, <laughs> if you tuned in for pop culture, you didn't get any of that either. But you will um, in just a tad bit. Let's talk about these rings, man. I got um. Gentle bands, and I have joy mode for you. Got them both. Here you go. All right, guys, before we move on, I want to tell you guys about gentle bands. Check that out. You see that ring right there? That is gentle bands. And so this company reached out to me a little while ago and they said, Hey, we think that you and your audience would be perfect for us. I said, Yeah, why do you think that? And then I started to take a look. And so what's so special about them is it's what Gentle Bands does. They kind of reimagine the, the genre of science fiction and fantasy. And, and they also, they really, really pay attention to detail. And this particular ring, it's made, it's tungsten and opal. And you can see a little bit of it right here. And it has like that balance of the dark side and the light. It reminds me of like Star Wars meets Lord of the Rings. So tungsten is very dense, sturdy, and opal is like the highlight. It represents personality, style, all that stuff. And their package, the stuff that it comes with is really great. They also offer engraving services at the moment. It's pretty great. They draw inspiration from classic science fiction films and games, and their team has developed this galactic collection, and it captures the essence of the enchanting universe and the eternal battles between dark and light. So once again, when you're taking a look, look at this website in general, and just some of the things that they have there. And as I show you a few of the pictures here, I thought those were pretty interesting on how they actually kind of crafted this whole thing. Now, if you want to go and get one of them you go to gentlebands.com and you can use my code kh channel and you'll get 25 percent off it's pretty amazing you get 25 percent off but you got to use that code kh channel it around i really love it and it's got it yeah it, it just i'm not gonna lie to you it does I, I i would i have said my precious a couple times but here it is check it out gentle bands links in the description thanks guys all right you know as well as i do you've been standing at that gas station you look over and you go oh sexual pills i'm gonna try one of those don't do it they are not good over there not healthy but joy mode is what is joy mode when you go to the gym and you take something to help you with your workout it's the same thing with joy mode it's a sexual enhancement performer man it's amazing and it works the issue is that that over-the-counter pill it contains unregulated chemicals, it suggests unsafe doses, and it includes the risk of several other health problems. That is why we are partnered with our friends over at Joy Mode. I tried it, and man, oh man, it just makes you feel good. It's that extra pep. It's not necessarily a step, but you get what I'm talking about. Whether you're looking to spice up your intimate moments or increase your confidence in the bedroom, Joy Mode makes all natural and science-backed supplements dedicated to helping men perform better across their core functions. Their trademark product, the Sexual Performance Booster, it's every man's solution for increased blood flow, firmness, stamina, and performance. It comes in a palm-sized packet like your favorite electrolyte powder. Simply mix six to eight ounces of water 45 minutes before sexual activity and watch the magic unfold. Literally, redefine your intimacy and go to usejoymode.com for 20% off with the code big thing. Appropriate. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code big thing at usejoymode.com. Ingredients with integrity. Joy Mode. All right. Thank you to Gentle Bands. Thank you to Joy Mode. And so glad that Joy Mode's back. I'm telling you, especially after being on a plane for as long as I am. Um, How dare you get jo Joy Mode back when I'm. When you gone? Well, what about I'll give you, I'll I'll save some packets for you. 
Save me a packet or two. I'll save you a packet or two. Hey, hey listen. <laughs> hey, hey, Brett, listen. I got a, I got a little uh, proposition for you. Come in here and uh, next vacation you take and you want to bring your, your lovely wife. I'll give you a little joy mode. I'll put him in the, uh, like, you know, the way they leave the Bible on the side of the uh, most hotels. So I'm going to leave a little joy mode for you. And, and then you'll really see God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh. My my, my uh, uh, jet lag is rubbing off on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you do it for Pulp Fiction. If you're yeah, Pulp Fiction, would you like to see a little pulp? <laughs> Roxy, speaking of pulp, how the day? How's the dating going? How's the dating? How's the dating going? <laughs> pulp friction. Pulp friction. <laughs> I really didn't like that transition. That's all right. You know who I blocked on Twitter? Who's that? Who? Me. Him. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's up, baby? Did oh, miss me? he's got it. You missed me? Oh. It was either Twitter or Instagram. Oh, they had a full account ass. about balls on me and Steph's face. Who? And I was like, goodbye, big oh. balls. Uh, so <laughs> blocked it. <laughs> you really don't like big balls, huh? I really don't. Um, What dates? That's strange. I think most women love squirrels with balls on their face. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's squirrels weird. balls. I thought, that was, I thought that was. I don't the, know why that person didn't. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was the big attracting thing these yeah. days. I don't. No stories. Nothing. Trying to think, like, no, I really haven't been seeing anybody at all. Um, I am all career all the time and grandparents. Those are my two things right now. And it's just like I did check. I told you guys about the one hinge thing. I did check hinge the other day. Um. And then I was like, mm -hmm. okay. Oh my God. I, I was like, sometimes, sometimes I try to hold myself back because I'm like, you know, I don't know how some people get offended, but I know Roxy doesn't. If you, like, let's say, <laughs> Brent, <laughs> Roxy, let's just. I have no idea where you're going. You got to spit it out. I'm trying. Let's just say that you went out one night and you just got annihilated, right? Would you come in and would you come in and would you I'm be like, you guys, yeah, would you tell us? You know, <laughs> I don't know if I would phrase it like that, but I will, I'll give you guys something. Well, you really wouldn't really phrase would. it like that. Why not? Because I can't, I honestly can't even picture it because it's been so long since I got annihilated. I don't even <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's just like not even part of my, you don't even think about it know. anymore. Yeah, so you leave it to the one, two horny old fucks. There was this one guy. Um, so of all the guys, of all the guys I've yeah. ever been with, of the handful of people I've been with, um, there's only one of them who's still single. Okay, all of them are married with kids. So oh. it's and I'm friends with a lot of them. Like, I'm, there's no, uh, but there's one guy who's single, and he lives in New York. Okay, and I fucking adore him. He's okay. the best. Um. But, like, not for my life partner, but he's just so much fun. Right. And um, he was coming out to L.A. for a couple of days. Okay. And he did – this month he came out to oh. L.A. And he was like, what are you doing? Can I come over? And I was like, absolutely. And we're friendly, though. Like, I talk to him all the time. Friends with benefits um, type thing or friends? Well, you don't know. like, throughout the years, like, I started seeing him before I was dating my ex. Okay. Then I started dating my ex, and him and I stayed friends, no benefits. Then when we broke up, benefits again. Like, got it, got so it. We're, we've it's done like an on-off type thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, But, like, my buddy, like, he'll call me about love life stuff, you know, if he has issues yeah, or whatever. that's fair. So, anyway, he came out here, and I was thinking, like, wow, is this going to be the first time I have sex in years? Mm -hmm. Like, I might, this might be... Like th this, oh my God, I hadn't even thought about it. Right. So um, I took what the girls call an everything shower. Have you guys ever heard of that? Yeah. Tell us. An everything shower is like the cleanest you can be, right? Like this is when you do your pampering, you're yeah, shaving, everything. you're waxing, you're like, it's an everything shower. Right. It's like instead of taking a 10 minute shower, you take like an hour and 20 minutes. Right. Like, right. It's like, like a, it's a everything. full car wash. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I, just in case I did an everything shower. Sure. Um, but then he got here and it just wasn't the vibe. Like, no. I just didn't feel like it. Okay. And I was like. Did he make the move or you just didn't feel like, like it? Like, 
I think both of us were just, we were talking and yeah. laughing. And then like, he was telling me about, he's been really working on himself, like oh. seeing a therapist. Oh. And I was talking it's about good, my it's a good, uh, it's a good appetizer. It was just not sexy. It was very like, um, and he was here for two nights. And then the next night I was going to see him again. And I was thinking like, okay, like maybe now I'll like turn right. the move on. Did you, did you have to do um, another every, everything shower? That then you can just do a shower because like I, oh, I don't need to. You already did the you already did the tune up. Yeah. I did the tune up. Right. Um. But then, um, because you know I always like to sh- bring the show down. Right. Somebody very close to me passed away, oh, and I was like, the night is not no. the night. Like yeah, I was sorry. fucking in shambles, crying. Yeah, yeah. And so he called me. He's like, "Can I come over?" And I was like, "Oh, no." The time is just <laughs> not there, buddy. And then he left. And I was yeah. thinking to myself, like, it's so weird. Old me would have just been like, he walked in, jumped his bones. But n- I just have no interest in when somebody that I'm not pursuing things with. Yeah, that's, a, um, that's not weird. That's just a, you know, that's just that's talk, just how it goes. I talked to my friends afterwards and I was because they were like, oh, my God, did it happen? Because everybody was hoping for me because it's been so long. Right. And I was just like, I don't remember what it's like to want somebody it's been so long since i looked at somebody and was like yes right yeah. see it's such then a different I problem Bridgerton and i'm like oh yeah i'm a sexual creature right you but get worked up and then you look around and you got you'd say oh right and I'm, there's nobody i have any interest with not one percent people are like come on there's got to be somebody you're talking to i'm like like when i say there's no prospects no one around there's zero zero point zero which is a weird feeling. Like, I feel like this is uh, in my early thirties. I feel like this is supposed to be the, yeah, but it just happens. It happened. Look, yeah. And here's, and here's the flip side of that too, is that where Brett, you can probably relate to this as well too. And because didn't you get to a place where you are married, well, especially with dudes, because with dudes, it's a lot easier when, when you, even when you're married, it's like, Hey, hopefully it's happening tonight. It's not, it's not, it's not. It's not. All right, I'm gonna go smash off into the toilet. That's really that's really what, that's really what happened. <laughs> well, what Roxy said about the sad part of that story, um, a, a, a old comedian uh, buddy of ours, Sam Brown, uh, used to say he had a bit about. He goes, you know, guys, it's different. I could just be just get done identified my parents' chart remains and still want to do it. You know, yeah. I mean, guys, we're we're disgusting. We're we're, we're pigs. <laughs> Absolute slobs. Um, I agree with that, though. And I used to, I, I think I've told this story before, but like right, at, I think like maybe some of the horniest I ever was in my life was right after my mom died. Because it was just like you needed distraction, right, anything yeah. to be like, of course, to feel and to not feel so fucking sad. Um, but now it's different. Like I can't wait to really want to be with somebody. Right. Because I know that the next person I'm really with, there's like a very good chance that that's my husband. Right. Uh, well, for a long, for right, for someone that you're going to actually commit to, it's like, am I like right. your next choice of committing is someone that you can actually you're going to commit to for the long run that that that's the investment, right? Right. Yeah, of course. So it's like I don't know. Yeah. Well, man. Listen. Good luck to you. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. You got it, kiddo. There's <laughs> <laughs> sport. Good luck to you. <laughs> real, real, real encouraging. <laughs> Hey, they give you like a little Perfect. tap on the chin to go after. You know, Any time we have these conversations, like people will slide in my DMs and they're like, "I can take care of this for you." And it's like, did you not listen to a word I said? Mm-hmm. Uh, right. <laughs> and I'm sorry. They, they, no, it's <laughs> and, if, and that's and that's and and you, that's going to be the guy. He's like, "Hey, listen, I got a. I, I know that you've been talking about it. You really want a connection, but if you yeah. look at my balls, if I send a picture, yeah. if I send a picture of my balls, I think." I think really I sure. might be the guy. I'm going to change your mind. <laughs> I'm going to change it's your like, mind. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put a smiley face on them. It's going to be amazing. I know. But every I know time they're like, <laughs> go ahead, Brett. No, I, I know. Like, cheer up. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, it's seriously like, the light bulb goes every up. time we have these conversations and then people slide and be like, I could take care of that for you. And it's like, do, do, are you, do you not have ears that work? No. That, it's not. not that I can't find somebody to take care of it for me. Right. It's well, that's, that's the, not that is I'm the difference. Anymore. That's the major <laughs> difference. Because like if, yeah. we've talked about this before, Roxy. If you wanted to, you can go to the bar tonight and you'd be fine. Yeah. Um, you can go to the grocery you store. want to again. You, go to the, you, can go, you can go throw something into the mailbox and you can probably get something. <laughs> but... When it's, it was dudes. What am I putting in the mailbox? Yeah. Well, maybe I guess it's someone else trying to put something in the mailbox. A sign that says, yeah. please come inside. 
I mean, what Christian saying is you could get annihilated. Anytime. <laughs> you don't <laughs> you know, want to, to use your term, uh, Roxy. I got you destroyed last I'm night. Not, can absolutely, not, but it's the way that I'd be so happy if I ever come in and I'm like, you never guess what happened last night. Yeah. Annihilate. I got annihilated. Yeah. This guy just tore me to shreds. <laughs> I mean, it's like the way the Talk dudes throwing <laughs> something in the mailbox. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like an absolute battle fest. Um, Roxy, did you hurt your leg? No, I right. just can't walk straight. It's <laughs> gonna annihilate it. Annihilated. Anyway, well, look, it looks like it doesn't. It doesn't look like the. She virtu- plays this in audio, and she goes, "That's not my neighbor. Yeah, that's me. That's me this time. Yeah, guys, I got some new audio for you." Anyway, how is the neighbor? So finally, like, because I just buckled down about the garage situation. Yeah. She finally cleared everything out. It's been a year and a half. And then sent me, like, a novella about how she just had to get, a like, prosthetic surgery for something. Right. Something confusing. I don't really know what is going down over there okay um but definitely rotating door situation again but i'm hearing nothing now so nothing. mad people in and out silent prosthetic something uh, those are all my updates <laughs> <laughs> That's <not> the- <laughs> she had a she had a she had a full full puss replaced <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I really don't know. Like, and I told you guys this, I feel bad because she is so sweet, but she does like, <laughs> kind of ruin my life. Of course. I mean. <laughs> no, I had a, she, she, she's, she come, I, I had the whole, whole thing replaced. <laughs> well, like, it was weird. I kind of see how she phrased it. I was like, what? Prosthetic. <laughs> No, I, you, you, you should have seen what it looked like <laughs> before I had this procedure done. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, I'm gonna go sorry away. for the delay. I got a prosthetic for something <laughs> chronic, and it's been exhausting my body. <laughs> oh, there you go. Listen, we've had enough of this. Um, we have TV, though. Um, <laughs> if you want to talk about that, we got some good stuff. Roxy, you got TV to talk about, correct? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Let's start with the first one. And the first one on your list that you sent me. Yeah, I got it up. Hey, here it is. The first one is a show that you can't stand, Christian. And apparently the rest of the internet can't stand. And I just feel so happy oh, for myself because yeah. I love this show. Good. Uh, it's Acolyte. Um, and people are like, Roxy, basically what you're saying about the show is that it's not that hard to follow, so you like it. No, that's not it. It's that, to me, it rings true to what I feel about Star Wars. Mm. It's good versus evil. It's choosing the light. It's siblings. It's Jedis. I'm so intrigued by this whole witch thing. The very last minute of this week's episode um, has me curious as well. Uh I I'm just into this. I really like soul and I I find it super enjoyable. So I'm I I'm staying off the internet about it because clearly I am in the vast minority. I mean, most of the when I was on the internet, people were like, this is ruining Star Wars' future. Star Wars will never recover from this. And I'm like, I don't know what to say. And it's this and was- that's but it's also that's not just coming from like, you know the 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 normal like haters that's coming from that's coming from people who are just in the middle so that's why i'm just not there anymore because i'm like i like this show so i don't know it feels very good for me so i'm liking that a lot good on you all right next one i got to talk to you guys about milk manor this week you love this show you love i love this show and i'm just like praying that i can get brett to watch it and i know that i can't get christian too but brett i really think i have a shot with you Because this show is like a study of human behavior. So what happens this week is that all of the guys have to put their butts through a hole. What? And and you can't see who its butt it is. And all the women has to have to guess by feeling them and biting them 
Biting, the, biting ass? Is that the biting name of this? ass. The show's called biting, biting ass. ass now. Sniffing ass, <laughs> biting Sniffing ass, ass? And sucking ass, and trying to figure well, out whose ass it is. Who greenlights these things? Whoever guesses the most amount of ass is right gets to go on a good date. Wow. Which is like... You don't deserve that. Oh, hey, listen. I, who's that? Oh, that's, that's Billy. Yeah. No, it's not just... They're like... <sighs> What'd you hmm, eat? Firm, firm. It's so... Yes. And wow. these are bare asses. One of them was bare. The rest of them used like they. The assignment was go put on your sexiest boxers or briefs mm. and meet us outside to put your butt through a hole. I mean, to the point. Did they? Yeah, did they do the game with nothing? Did they do the full shower? He they better. He must, he must have. He. But everybody was like, "Wow, this guy's ass is hairy," and it was. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you're right. You're never gonna get me to watch this show. All right, so what's the uh, <laughs> what's the, what's the next one? But Brett, will you? Yeah, I might. I, uh, we always need like a, a palate cleanser type show. Do you think that's on, the one? It's, be, it's on Max, Brett. So just oh, not that. Yeah. You know, Please Roxy. Let it. me ask you before you get to your next pick. One of the shows my wife, I think, is the her favorite channel. I would tell you is probably Apple. She watches everything on yeah, Apple. She's watching Presumed Innocent right now. Are you watching that? No, it keeps popping up okay. on my thing, though. Any good, is she saying? I mean, she's watching it. So, I mean, if she, my my wife if will not watch past, you know, 15 oh. minutes if she doesn't like it. So You know, I watch things that I You watch everything, all right. All so she yeah. she likes it. So, um, all, right. all right. What's the next one for you? The next one's Bridgerton. Okay. Because the, se the second part of season three just dropped. Uh and this is how I know that I do have a sex drive still. Like you watch <laughs> this and you're like, oh, right, sexy, like foreplay, fun, that build up. It is the hottest show. I thought that this season was amazing. I, st I saw my partner in crime, Steph Sabra, posted that she thinks this is the best season wow. of the show so far. How many seasons thus far? Three seasons thus far, okay. but this last one dropped as like kind of like Breaking Bad, A and B. Okay. Um, so really this season was unbelievable. Uh, and I couldn't have thought it was any hotter. Grammy started watching. Wow. This, she she's like calling it? Me. Yeah. Grammy's like, they finally, and this is about, she's on season one. They <laughs> finally made love. <laughs> and I was like, that's one way to put it. Like, I mean, these, oh, these people get annihilated. They get annihilated, right? Yeah. Exactly. That's right. what I'm talking about. Okay. She's Next. Like it was so worth it. The journey to making love. I was like, <laughs> man, she loves. She the loves show. it. Good for a Grammy. All right. Next Loved one. It. The next one I put on here is the NBA Finals, just because oh. it's finally over. Obviously, my boys won the Celtics, but I will say I just thought that it was so fun to watch this year. Uh, obviously, I'm the winner, so of course I think it was fun. But the actual series, um, it the last two games were blowouts. Yeah, one of them was a blowout by the Mavs, one by the Celtics, and it's like I understand why so many of my friends didn't even watch this. Blowouts are never fun for anybody right. to watch. But in general, this was really cool. It was very cool to see shit that you guys don't care about. But Al Horford finally get his ring. I was mm -hmm. stoked for him. And his dad came on. Um, Tatum with Deuce, his little son, who was like screaming, congratulating him. Um, same thing, J Jalen Brown getting his MVP, which he earned this season, even though I would have given it to Tatum. It was really, really fun, cool. And this is the second time in my lifetime that the Celtics have won um, the championship. And I was just like on cloud nine about it. Half my friends were at the game. Mutual friend of ours, Christian Maria Menounos was court side. Oh, yeah. Snyder was there too. She, oh yeah. Saw Snyder was there. Yeah. Uh, Maria was sitting with uh, Mercedes. Oh, nice. Which was cool. I was like, is, she, is, so is, is that where she's from? Mercedes? Yeah. Yeah. Mercedes, okay. a Boston girl. Okay. Um, so yeah, it was just awesome to watch. And they were sitting next to Donnie Wahlberg. I was Hilarious. like, oh, to watch a game with Donnie Wahlberg. That's, that's, wild. For real. that's wild. All right. So that's, yeah, good. Well, congratulations on that one. Thank so you. your team Thank wins. You. I stopped watching when the Knicks got eliminated. All right. Next. Yeah, I'm sure. That's why I never talk about sports on here, but it's like, if I'm going to yeah. do it, now's the time. Yeah, that's right. you should. I understand. All right. Next. Uh, House of the Dragon. I'm so cute. We haven't talked about this yet. Did you guys watch this? I part? did. Do you even I watch a show? I haven't been, yeah, back long enough to, to watch. But have you, but did you watch season one? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay, so no spoilers then on this. We got the first episode of House of the Dragon. Uh, Christian, I'll go ask you then, what did you think about this? I absolutely loved it. Loved it. 
Loved it, loved it, loved it. Thought it was so. There's so much. This is what I was talking about. There's just so much detail to this show. Picks up right where it left off, and by the time the end is tough to watch. This the the end of this episode is tough to watch, but still, edge of the seat stuff. Find myself going back and forth on who I'm rooting for. Um, I loved it. You? I liked it a lot. I liked it significantly more than I liked the premiere right, episode the first one. of season one. Um, and I ended up loving season one. But I will say I'm a little confused on some stuff. Okay. Did you feel a little confused on some stuff, like the opening stuff? Remind I had me, to go back and rewatch the opening. Remind me real quick what happens in the opening without spoiling it. Um, we go to a place we're familiar with. Oh, with, yeah. Well, I mean, with with the with the, the stuff that happened last season. With the wall. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And, I, and I'm just like, how does this tie in? Like, who knows who? I'm just a little. Confused I got it. Them. I wasn't. I wasn't. But I'm sure that there are people who were. Um, and I think that it's yeah. I saw a tweet that someone said, "Oh, there." There's a lot of characters. I find myself rewinding and doing this. I'm like, that is usually a Game of Thrones thing, but I don't feel that way with House of the Dragon. But I, I do, I, which is I'm, fair. Which is fair. Yeah, like afterwards, I was googling like who was that person in that elevator going up to this, you know, and just I, you can't, I can't turn off my brain for a single second when watching this, as you shouldn't, you know, right. it's, a, it's a huge right. show. But I honestly, I feel like I need to watch the entire episode again because I was like, I, everybody was saying like that opening sequence and that final scene blew yeah. their minds. And I was like, I thought it was fine. Wow. Was I good? loved it. Yeah. I loved it. It's a, Do you yeah, think a, a recap of season one. Cause I, 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 I couldn't even tell you. No, the opening has nothing to do with season one. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. The opening. So, yeah. It's, it's, it, it, I mean, they kind of mention who Roxy's talking about in season one, but yeah, they're yeah. like at a meeting here and they're not, they don't like focus on it in a way that it's like, that you would Frankly, catch up it doesn't to. matter that much. I think yeah. I might be just harping on something. Like, yeah, Wait, but, is this but, thing? but um, Brad, and I, sorry, but Brad, if you're talking about like watching a recap to, to so you remember everything that's going on, yeah. yeah, I think they do a good job on on catching up to where your brain goes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay, yeah. okay, totally. Uh, I love dealing with hypocrisy mm -hmm. in television. Yeah, and I think that this show does a really good job. Of showing and not telling yeah. characters that have like looked at somebody else and disowned them for one thing, and then the hypocrisy of doing the thing that you right. hate somebody else for. Right. I love the thematically. This show hits on a lot of stuff. I'm really interested in. Well, it's Roxy, um, you talk kind of, about you talking about Bridgerton. I think there's two scenes in this episode that is some of the sexiest stuff I've seen on television. Hmm. Two particular scenes I don't want to give away. And same character. One I, one I definitely know. Oh. Same, same character. character. Same character, yeah, okay. both scenes. Totally. I was yeah. like, who's the second person? Yeah, um, no, no, um, same. I but, hear you. Yeah. But yeah, the hypocrisy is like. Uh, yeah, but totally. It's great totally. for a show. Especially you're, uh, you're talking about what I'm talking about, but inside of that. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's go to the yeah. last one. So, but I still think super worth watching, like yeah. very high on my list yeah. of things that I'm excited about. And then this thing that is even higher on my list, though, is The Boys. Yeah. Mm. Uh, man, oh man, this show doesn't miss for me. I am interested in Sister Sage and Redheaded Girl, whatever her name is, um, the, our new characters. I am like just absolutely loving Deep. He is so, so effed up and crazy. He's my favorite character on the show because, I mean, and when I say that, people are like, you're so evil. He is, he sexually assaulted some. I'm not saying he's my favorite character. Like, I think he's the best person. <laughs> right, yeah. Right. I think that he is, like, the octopus stuff is wild. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Just obsessed with him. <laughs> I'm curious about a few things, like what they're going to be doing with some of the, I'm going to say side characters, but like Kamiko. Um, even Starlight this season, what is she doing? So, right. but the first three episodes, I was like, yup. Yeah. Uh, and we open up with Homelander doing something wild to don't say deep in A train, like trying to yeah. convince them something. And I was like, oh, just I love this show. I love these characters. And I love that there's one more season after this, and then we're done. That we've already discussed that this is the Butcher versus Homeland show. Yeah. 
and they when that is no longer the show is no longer yeah. and i'm super into it yeah i have it's the one show i love the show and i haven't had a chance to watch season four yet because of the move but my goal is to catch up on all well at this point it'll be all four of them and then i'm going to try to start doing reactions to them and then do week to week actual reviews of them but i just haven't had a chance because of the move but um all right love it. yeah we did it Great. listen first new york show here with the crew as i promised Roxy didn't go anywhere. Roxy's right here. Roxy's right here. Look at Roxy. Brett's right here. Brett's got the best shot out of the three of us. Look at that. Look at that lighting. Look at that. <laughs> so let's uh, start with Roxy. Roxy, where can they find you? Everywhere at Roxy's Trier. Brett, if they want to see you at that wonderful studio or other people in that studio, where do they find you? Above Board TV on the YouTubes. And then we actually have a, a podcast that just dropped um i tech but i'm also pop in on it um called everything's a game and you can find it on your spotify's and apple podcasts and what have you and um yeah it's brett you know you, you know what you do with yeah brett you know what you do with that plug what's that you annihilated it oh yeah. thank you well i was just gonna say christian do you think somebody's listening to him or something because that was the first time best he's plug. ever it's his best plug yeah he just, just, this is, just, where he this is what i do and he annihilated it find it yeah he annihilated it <laughs> It's just because he's because he's, his brain has been replaced with a different I had version. A prosthetic of replacement. Yeah, your prosthetic <laughs> plus. All right. Everybody's so. talking about big dick energy, so I got decided to get one. <laughs> Good for you. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Apple Podcast, Spotify. Put your comments in there because it helps. And these shows that we do, like these little one-offs on Thursdays, where we're just talking about whatever the hell we want to do, it's refreshing. It's therapeutic for us. And when you watch them, it means that we can do more of them. And when you comment on them, it means more people see them in the algorithm. So if you like hanging out with us, like you did last week with me and Rock and then the other shows that we've done together where Brett was on I think two weeks ago we did pretty well here too and you guys are just being part of it and you're putting comments in there and having conversations about it and that's why these shows will pop up in your algorithm so thanks for joining us appreciate you and we'll see you on the flip side for Roxy and Brett bye bye oh yeah oh yeah And then I'll go and then I'll eat some bread. See you next